This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software, Paramatch. Now we're up to 14 teams who are playing in this ECS. Two groups of seven. Almost ready to go. Rock and roll. Jimon Naidu to get us going. First ball of day two. Pushed out. And no run first up. So yeah, conditions here a little bit different to yesterday. 14 degrees for the first ball. Just short again. This might have actually just taken a little scratch on the glove down the leg side. All right, this is full toss. Hit away. I think that's gone all the way. Maximo signal. Let's have a look at it on the replay. Pretty close, actually. Yep, just makes it. Well, this is bad news for the bowler because it's a full toss. Maybe forget the 110. It's going to be a seven up. He does hit it. Gets under it. A lot of bottom hand in that. And that will go all the way. Maximo back to back. That ball's worth 13. They're really heating up. We see Rupan Das coming on. This is a nice shot. Just eased off the back foot. And Oops turned the captain to get into the action. And the result is four runs. This one's hit into the gap as well. Outfield's always fast. That shows it. Well, the rope's a mess, and the result's going to be four. Within seven overs. These days, that'd be a bonus point win. Anyway, this is pulled away against far too short from Das. Being it for no ball. I think they've stuck with a wide. Anyway, won't really matter because the next ball smashed to the boundary. Anyway. This one's flat batted and hit. And he's got it. What a catch by Asif Ataura, the captain. This was just smashed straight at him. It's almost a case of the ball catching the fielder. But finally, something goes Team Tigers Portugal way. All right, goes with the swing this time. Top edge hanging. He's slightly into the wind, but it will go all the way. Well, there's Paolo Buchimatsa. Custodian of the ground here. Maximo. Geary goes after it. And oh, it's going to get away. And the result's going to be six. Maximo. What a good start for Geary. There's a bit of a teaser for the fielder. And I think he's actually run in there. I think it might have been four. And this would have been a wide, but why go wide when you can smash a six? And that one is certainly going all the way. Maximo. Take that. Again, not controlling the in-swing. Got him. And it's a miss hit as Giri wraps the bat around that. Hassan takes the catch. And so that will be the second wicket of the day. And once again, the last ball of an over results in a wicket. So that over actually went magical from Zahid Hassan, but he does finish with a wicket. You can see there. Gives him a bit of an advantage. Now this is short. And kind of holds up, turns it round. That's going to be four. A good start to the over. He cannot afford to bowl short. Isn't really counted. Oh, thick edge. That's going to fly away as well. That's going to be another four. This is muscled in the air. Keeper, bowler coming together. And in the end, it'll be taken by Omar Farouk. So everybody coming together. Again, tries to go leg side, just holds up. Keeper. I had ideas of it, but it was always blowing towards Farouk. Again, you see the, the effect of the wind there. This is hit high, and with the wind, it's kind of flying straight to the fielder. Rupan Das takes the catch. So that's a, a nice one taken. And you consider that this, this first half hasn't really gone according to plan for Team Tigers Portugal. Very, very happy to help out with a few games. This is hit down the ground, and that's going to be four runs. 
Wimbledon rival Spencer CC. It's a little back cut, nicely hit. And that'll be four. This is going to be hit out towards deep point. And it's going to be fumbled. Well, that one. All right, this is in the air again. This is blowing and blowing and straight to the fielder. Yeah, Rupan Das, second catch he's taken in a very similar fashion. Not bothered by the cloud cover. He's gone for the shades and that's well, worked out pretty well for him because that'll be the end of Chowdhury for 17. That's a nice shot though. He just lifts that up and over and that's what happens if you can get the wind to your advantage. Again, straight back shot. Oh, I like that shot. Probably shot of the morning so far. Maximo. A heavy swing. And it's going to fly down to deep third. So that's a pretty good effort down there from Tusha Shah to take the catch. Again, the bat speed was there. Watch it fly. And even though it's into the wind, it still holds up enough. So Tusha Shah can take the catch. Here's Russell. He gets a piece of it. Just once off to the races. He's going to go too and with a fumble. Might as well keep going here. Depends if they can get into the bowler. Best throw I've ever seen, but oh, I love that. <laughs> he just says, all right, I'll pick up your bat. Anyway, a bit of a, a lighter moment there. As they'll finish with two runs and take the score to 125 for six off the 10 overs. <laughs>
Probably lucky that Majinath took a wide start there. So, a bit of a mix-up to say the least. Things going from bad to worse. As that'll be the end of the captain, Asif Ataur. Had a few favourites. All right, high in the air. Now, with the wind, this is flying. And in the end, it's going to fly over the fence. Maximo! And now his captain probably wants to stick around for a while. Now, goes back, cuts away, and he's going to be gone. It'll be a six and out. Manjanath gets the breakthrough. And I suppose that Tusha and his captain, Azivatur, will be reunited a little bit more quickly than they would have wanted. This is short and gets whacked away. Well, the extra ball gets put to good use. As it'll be Maximo to finish the over. And after six, it's 54 for four. This is a little leg glance. It's going to get past the field and run away for four. All right, high again with the win. This is blowing, but is it far enough? It will be. So another catch is taken. And that's going to be the end of Zahid Hassan. And yeah, maybe that point not sewn up just yet. It'll be 60 for five. Until Chaudhry with a second wicket. There's a bit of variation in it. This is an edge. Again, finds the vortex. And that'll be four. Handy runs coming late. And he's bowled him once again. Just accuracy. Winning the day, Lisbon Super Giants go to Samad Usata in the eighth, and he delivers. That one four in the over was a nick. He concedes three singles and finishes with a wicket. All right, 16 off 12 for a point. Can they get there? Gets a bit of bat on this. That's going to fly away for four. Good batting by Udin. All right. This one swung away to the leg side, and that gets past the fielder. That'll be four. And he does swing at it, and he absolutely nails it. Well, now surely they're getting the, the point out of this. They just need one off eight, and how quickly things can change. Maximo. All right, now the edge flying away. This time it's over the fielder. It's going to be four. Here's the last ball of the innings. And it's another edge that's going to fly away. And this time it will be stopped. I think they'll just settle for the one in the end. So they don't quite make the 100, but not far away. 99 off the 10 overs. And the margin is 26 runs between these two teams. And their first hit out of this European Cricket Series. Match 6 sees Lisbon Super Giants 125. Team Tigers Portugal 99.